Hey, what is up guys? Welcome aboard Butch Airways 777 from London Heathrow to New York. Um, today we're flying first class in the 777. Never tried this party before. It isn't groundbreaking at all, but still very excited to be here checking it out so far i'm very impressed um, we've got the whole cabin to ourselves i think there's only one pilot across the other side who's uh, resting up for the flight back and apart from that it's just me and my dad going to boston usa so hope you enjoy this review and uh, let's go served some champagne, Laurent Ferrier Grand Ciel, towel as well, very nice because it's winter here in London, some nuts and an amenity kit. Let's have a look and see what's inside, uh, I can't actually see what it says but let's uh, try open it anyway. Okay. Uh, so we got uh, some eye eye masks, eye shades, very nice, and cleansing facial wipe, very good, some uh, advertising, some socks of course, or tissues if you need them, and what else is in there, then we have some uh, ultra smart pro collagen moisturizer, Comb? Comb? <laughs> comb your hair, you know? Fortitude deodorants, wow. It's got, this kid's got everything. Uh, this is a lip balm. Uh, earplugs. Uh, what else we got? A dental kit. Very handy. A pen. Deep Clenshaw Facial Wash. This is one of the most extensive uh, amenity kits I've seen in a while, to be honest. And a Ultra Smart Pro Collagen Eye Treatment as well. Very nice, very nice touch, British Airways. Let's get it all back in there. It's actually a very nice uh, suede pouch. I will definitely keep this. Let's take a look at the seat here. Very spacious, um, even though this is a very similar reverse herringbone design as you would find in uh, Cathay Pacific, Virgin Australia, Fiji Airways, which have just flown last week. Um, it's still very much more spacious, especially when it comes to the uh, leg department here. So you can see here where you can the full storage area, and they actually allow um, people to dine together. So you, the table comes around here, and you can sit with two guests to have dinner. Uh, in the middle seats, got the uh, divider there. And of course, got the beautiful blue British Airways logo. I do like these windows, um, which kind of look like a train carriage situation. And then we got this dial system, which is quite cool. I do like the lighting on it. And the seat controls are right here as well. Then we got the earphones, 
And I still have to figure out where they, oh, there we go. So there they keep the um, power adapter. The other thing, the TV monitor kind of flips out. And then we also have a storage cabinet here for jackets and whatnot. Um, very nice touch. Let's have a look here. The one A, uh, one K, sorry. So just plenty of leg room. Quite a spacious seat. All right, let's look at the uh, headphones here in British Airways first class. Looks very nice. I think they're noise cancelling. There's no particular brand on them, but they do look very uh, sturdy. It's like high quality piece of headsets, even though I've got my own. It's a nice touch. Oh, there we go. There's a brand. Sound by Meridian. Never heard of that. Maybe I should have. I don't know. Telephone calls are not permitted at any time whilst on board. Further information can be found in the Highland magazine, which is located in your seating area. We're just taking off on our British Airways first class flight to Boston. Um, so far, I'm very impressed with the service. Very friendly, very genuine. It's Christmas Day, so they're all working on the day that most people have home. I really appreciate that. It's very nice uh, to see people enjoying their job. Um, let's take a look at the in-flight entertainment. The seat on British Airways isn't exactly the newest, but uh, it's still very nice, I think. Most people call it a very nice business class seat because that's really what it is. Let's have a look at the entertainment system and what it has to offer. Oh wow, so that's not new at all. So we have Tomb Raider listed as one of the new movies. Uh, that's been asked for months. Christmas Story, never heard of that. Yeah, very basic. I mean, it's not a huge screen, but it will do. Here we go. Oh, thank you. Beautiful. Any preference what you'd like to have for some dinner? I know it says lunch, but it's kind of Yeah, I was <laughs> Is it always the same menu or is it just say lunch all the, the time? The only thing is different is they've got like a traditional Christmas dinner instead of oh, the yeah, yeah. pork. Yeah. Can you get the smoked salmon? The salmon? Yeah, sure. Uh, is it possible to get the, the soup as well? Yeah, I can do some soup, of course. And then the uh, beef fillet for a main. The beef for yourself. Yeah, cool. thank you so much. Do you like the sides as well with it? Oh, the sides? So you can have all the sides. Cool. That's it, while we add it. Uh, it's my dinner ordered. Let's have a look at what the menu has got to offer. So, uh, welcome to first class. So it's all dine on demand here in uh, British Airways, supposedly. Um, you can order anything you want when you want it, which is nice. I do appreciate when airlines do that. And then it does say lunch menu, but it is, um, it's uh, 7.30 now, as you can see, 7.30. So it really is dinner. Um, so we have canapes, which have just been served. So that's a Cumbrian air dried ham with black olives, sun blushed tomatoes, and cornichon grilled king prawn with caviar, avocado, lime salsa. Very nice. Let's see what's up. Show you guys that. Actually, looks very uh, delicious. So nice, nice presentation. Very good job, British Airways. And then, um, so we have the starters. I'll, I'll just scroll through this. You can pause it if you want to read the menu. I've gone for the uh, salmon and a broccoli soup, and then a beef fillet from mains. And then they have a sort of range of side dishes as well. Let's do the desserts here. Very nice indeed. Oh, some snacks. And then they have afternoon tea. I don't know when that would be served, but um, doesn't exactly make sense to me. But anyway, it's nice to have. And then these are the beverages. Teas, of course, being British Airways. Union coffee, non-alcoholic. What else do we have there? Let's see, uh, champagnes. Of course, we have the Laurent Fourier Grand Ciel. 
very nice drop indeed. Then we also have a uh, British sparkling wine. Interesting, I probably should try that. And a lance on uh, rosé bleu. On to the white wines. Once again, you can pause this if you want to have a read. I'm just scrolling through this. And then onto the cocktail bar. Nothing impressive, but we have some gin, vodka, spirits, whiskey, some mocktails, if you're not alcoholic. That's it. So yeah, I'm very excited for this flight. Um, very much looking forward to it. And I'm gonna go check out these uh, canapes. See you in a bit. Right, quick review of the uh, British Airways first class headphones. Very good, very noise cancelling. I don't know if it's actually active noise cancelling, but it is very loud. Um, there is some static noise on the uh, headset adapter though. So that's probably due to the age of this seat. Not much I can do about it. All right, I'm just settling into my seat and I'm just playing around with the settings. I do really like this footrest, which you can adjust up and down. So it's quite nice. You can actually put your feet up like that instead of having up high. So I think that's a nice touch. You can see that. Very nice. Let's look at the uh, seat adjustments. Uh, so when you turn this. Let's see back up and reclines it. Actually, very comfortable seat. Wow. Okay. Let's be completely honest here. Um, super comfortable seat. Like, I mean, seriously comfortable. Even though it might be the same size as a business class seat, I think the padding and the design of the seat, the ergonomics are just outstanding. So very well done even though it's an old product it's still up there and it's very comfortable don't uh, don't bag it because it's you know not as sweet or whatever just then so far I'm really really liking British Airways first class no debate butter from the Netherend farm will it pass the stone test that's the only question here I think it might just just I right, have just received uh, received our entree the smoked salmon looks very nice wow very great presentation actually British Airways never used to be very well regarded for their presentation of the food but this has changed recently when they had the new menu brought in a new uh, food design so it does look very good let me show you so we have the we have the salmon here and I think the presentation is spot on to be honest very nice let's get a quick yeah, Instagram story struggle is real would you like to drink some wine with your meal would you like more uh, champagne I'll just stick with the champagne, champagne? for now yeah sure. You're not, um, you're not serving the Grand Seattle today? We have. Would you like the Grand Seattle instead? I think that's what I was drinking. Oh. Oh. Mm, very good. Very good starter here. British Airways. They have mixed up my champagne, but um, I'm sure we get that fixed soon. Not a big deal. I'm so sorry about this, sir. That's all right. <laughs> it's not a bad mix, actually. <laughs> what was the other one? Canard du Chêne. Thank you. You're welcome. Let's see if we can crack the stone test with this butter. It's a very important aspect of any first-class flight. If the butter doesn't pass the stone test, invented by my friend Greg Stone, then is it even a first class flight? Not really. So let's see, let's find out. Crucial moment. Wow. 
I would say um, it's a half pass. Um, the breads, the butter is still fairly solid, but it's not frozen. So I'm going to give British Airways the pass on this one. Just because everything's been so nice so far. Mm. Mm. And the butter itself is sensational. It's like salted butter. This is the way to my heart. This is cream of broccoli soup with crumbled stilton. Thank you. Oh wow. Beautiful, thank you so much. I went for a double entree today. Uh, I got the cream of broccoli soup. Very nice presentation. A beef for you, sir? Thank you. All right, I've just been, uh, just been served our main meal presentation once again spot on I'm really really impressed with the uh, British Airways first class um, food presentation let me show you the beef fillet this is something I would definitely expect in a restaurant restaurant quality food I ordered the side dish and we got the shoe on the side mm. beautiful Let's see how this steak is cooked. Wow, fantastic. You can see this. It doesn't drip everywhere. Excellent color. That's medium rare for me, I'd say. Orange and chocolate delis. Thank you. With almond granola. Beautiful, thank you. Let me show you the dessert. It looks very nice. Once again, presentation is spot on. How about that? Mm. Delicious, very good. After indulging in the British Airways food and drinks, it was time for a quick nap and the bed itself on British Airways in first class is actually very comfortable, although it's not as wide as many other airlines. The quality of the bed, the padding and the blankets were absolutely fantastic. Had a really nice quick nap before arriving into Boston. Good evening guys, and I've just had a fantastic flight on British Airways. We're just um, coming in to land in Boston. Had a bit of a nap. Um, bed is ultra comfortable. Overall very enjoyable flight. I'm, I'm very surprised with the, uh, the total quality of this uh, first class product. And yeah, a very enjoyable experience. See you next time. Hope you enjoyed it. Peace out.